Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, I would like to introduce Amber Huffman, who is the president of MVM Express and an Intel fellow. Uh, she's here to talk to us about the new NVMe 2.0 library of specifications. Thanks for having me. I'm super excited to talk about the, the great advances we've been doing in NVM Express for the industry and for everyone out there. Thanks, Amber. Uh, the first question we had is, what is the difference between the NVMe 2.0 family of specifications from previous versions? So one of the key things we've done in NVMe 2.0 is we refactored. So obviously one of the things that happens, if you can believe it, we with NVMe go all the way back to when we started this endeavor back in 2009. And so we're more than a decade in. One of the challenges that we have is that we are very much in cloud, in enterprise and in clients and, and even more beyond those form factors and those, those usage models. And so one of the challenges is with NVM Express serving so many use cases and purposes, we have a lot of capabilities and we wanna make sure that in a refactor of what we did for NVMe 2.0, to make sure people can find what they need for their use case. So we've refactored to be much simpler, make sure that there's the base information in that base specification. And then if you want to take advantage of something specifically for cloud, you can go to the, um, for example, key value or other pieces of the spec, um, the zone namespaces, but you don't need to care about that if what you're looking at is client. So I think it just makes it much more usable for the average person trying to optimize NVMe for their use case. And that's really optimizing it for everyone out there, um, whatever your needs are. So why, why Amber, why did NVM Express Inc. decide to refactor their specifications? So NVMe decided to refactor our specifications because over time, we've added so many capabilities that the specification became bigger and harder for people to understand. One of the things that we pride ourselves in NVM Express on is simplicity and really trying to reduce any complexity. So what the refactor allows you to do is based on your use case, just focus on the parts of the specification that really matter to you. And that's the key thing of how we tried to structure what's foundational, and then what's additional based on your use case, whether you're cloud, enterprise, or client, or something else. Great. Uh, what are the major NVMe 2.0 specification features? So some of the major NVMe 2.0 specification features that we're super proud of that are evolving the specification to new use cases include zoned namespaces, endurance group management, key value, we have a lot of refinements in the NVMe over fabrics work, work model, um, improvements in things like shutdown, uh, where we have multi-controller scenarios. When you think about things in enterprise use cases where you need to have failover capabilities. So we have a lot of tremendous value that now is structured in a much more understandable way. So that if you're in an enterprise use case, you can find those pieces like multiple controller capabilities. Whereas if you're in a client use case and that doesn't apply to you, you can ignore those pieces and utilize some of the other optimizations um, that, for example, a simple copy command and other things that may be more useful to you. Great, could you tell me about some of the emerging markets that will benefit from NVMe 2.0 technology? So NVM Express has really become the language of storage. And so if we think about its explosion in use, it has really taken over all the, the NAND flash, but as well as emerging memory types of if we think about Optane or other storage class memories for client, it's also taken over if we think about cloud and cloud deployments of, of solid state storage capabilities. And if we think about the enterprise marketplace. Now, other things that all of us are seeing in our increasingly digital lives as we live in the, in the face of COVID and whatnot is everything is digital. And so if I think about NVMe, now you see it in things like if we want to think about automobiles, right? So automobiles have storage in our infotainment and other things. And so NVMe is really evolving to take on the use cases of everything in our lives. And so we're just trying to make sure that when people go to the specification, you need a very different yet set of use models and, and features if you're targeting the cloud than if you're targeting my phone. And so that's really what we've been doing is trying to make sure NVMe is applicable to everyone, whatever your use model, and you can find what you need and not, not pay attention to the 90% that maybe doesn't apply to you, but focus on the 10% that's targeted for you in your use case. Great, it sounds like NVMe 2.0 is going to have some great impact on the industry. Um, so with that, what's next for NVMe Express, Inc.? 
NVMe 2.0 is going to have great impact on the industry. It's just our investment over the past 18 months to two years of updating NVM Express for the next decade of impact. So we've had a tremendous success over the past decade. It's the next decade to come. If I think about where we're going and what's next. So I think about some of the key things that will continue to evolve is what are the storage class memories that really become uh, optimal for the industry. I think you'll see NVMe playing there. I think you'll see NVMe playing roles in every device in our lives as we become increasingly digital. So for example, if I think about one of the key things that makes me really excited is the intelligent edge, right? If we think about autonomous uh, vehicles, but autonomous uh, thinking in every aspect of our lives, all of that needs storage. All of it takes tremendous amount of data. If we think about the convergence of AI and machine learning, all of that happens on data. So you need that data and NVMe is the language of storage and where that data is stored. And so NVMe just will continue to play an increasingly bigger and bigger role in our lives, even though we may not know that it's actually NVMe inside. Great, well, that was the last question. Thank you so much, Amber. Of course, it's super awesome to spend time with you. So <laughs> thank you guys for everything that, that this whole ecosystem does to make NVMe Express a great technology because NVM Express is powerful because it is the contribution of a great community, both inside the organization and in the industry, where we continue to evolve to meet the evolving industry needs. And I just appreciate so much the contribution of so many to make NVMe what it is, and it will continue to evolve the next decade to really meet what everybody needs. Great. Thank you, Amber. Thank you.